please make sure that you understand that uh, the the system that I'm, I'm going to show you today is Microsoft Word, yeah? Microsoft Word, to be specific, Microsoft Word 365. And I'm using Windows, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, sure. I think that they will give you Ali Majid, yeah. All right, uh, thank you very much, Kusas, again, for, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, organizing this uh, talk for me uh, and thank you very much for all of you here uh, who are participating or uh, willingness eh, your willingness to listen to uh, my uh, presentation on what this is formatting all about yeah so since uh, this is uh, our uh, two-way communication yeah live uh what is it live talk live knowledge sharing uh you uh you are allowed to ask me yeah uh, at any point that you think you need to know further you want to know more uh clearer also a better uh, uh explanation from me uh, do stop me and ask me uh, your question. Yeah, give me your question. Yeah, um, I, 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 I provide you the link uh, where you can get the material for this seminar. I copy the, the link and I uh, paste it on chat box. Can you see it? If you can see it, uh, maybe you can give a, uh, yeah, good, uh, good, yeah. Okay, good, Alhamdulillah. All right, so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha, yeah. All right, um, before I, I uh, uh, give my, my, uh, my explanation uh, further, uh, can you please tell me uh, where where is uh, your location now, or where which university that you are studying now? I just want to uh, get some idea which university. Uh, can you please put uh, the the name of your university on uh, uh, the chat box? Yeah, UPM. Yeah, okay. This will help me to to give uh, more idea on what this is formatting all about, yeah? Oopsie, uh, Putrajaya, okay, Africa University, yeah. UITM, UPM, PBS, India. Oh, okay, you are working, AJBS, you, MUM, okay. All right, okay. Okay, all right, okay. All right, I uh, give, uh, I, 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 I will give uh, my, my idea on formatting based on UPM thesis guidelines since uh, most of you here yeah, uh, from uh, UPM, yeah? Okay, now wait, uh, I, I know that uh, some of you might not from UPM, yeah? Uh, you, you might not feel happy, okay. Uh, all right, now my idea is uh, appropriate okay can be used to any university yeah? my idea yeah ah uh, good they are one of you from bangladesh from pakistan from india arab saudi okay it is a worldwide uh, uh seminar all right good you can ask me any question if you want to know more about this uh, method and this idea okay now um, I give again my my uh, my link the link for you to get the uh, to get the material eh, for this workshop. Okay. Okay. Uh, now uh, I want to share my screen now. Suara macam mana ya? Saya tak boleh dengar suara doktor. Okay. Um. Uh, anyone can you can you okay i think most of you can can listen to my my voice that is why you can uh, respond to yeah that's why you can respond to my uh, uh question uh, i think uh, mohammed ismail uh, okay 
Uh, yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, the setting I think from your from your laptop, Mama Ismail. One seven zero five five zero. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um. Okay. Now. Uh. Yeah. I think you are connecting to audio. You are not. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. But the weather is not very clear today. It is cloudy in in Malacca. How about at your place? I think Pahang is uh, cloudy as well. I. Kuantan is raining. <laughs> All right. Yeah, heavy rain. Yeah. Uh, take care. Uh. Uh, take care. Uh, I'm afraid that uh, the, the same thing can happen again. Flooding everywhere. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, um, what is this is formatting all about? Okay. At the beginning of my um, journey to make uh, awareness of what this is formatting all about, uh, many, many people um, uh, think that uh, Microsoft Word is easy to be understood. Yeah, easy to be understood, easy to be uh, handled. Yeah, and uh, easy to be produced. Yeah, the material for uh, in Microsoft Word, but it is not always true. Yeah, for certain student, Microsoft Word is a nightmare software. Yeah. Is a nightmare because uh, it may be running away format. You know, maybe you you save the document, but tomorrow morning you still can get the old version of your words. Yeah, Microsoft Word. Good. Ah, uh, where where are you? Very early morning. Uh, four a.m. Where are you, Anesu? Okay. Where are you, Anesu Miroga Mironga? In Africa, yeah, ah, Zimbabwe, ah, good, good. We have a student. You, you, you are studying in Malaysia or what? You are studying in Malaysia and you live there. Okay, dah boleh dengar. Good, good. Alhamdulillah, Omar Ismail, dah boleh dengar. Okay. Uh, okay. No, Africa University. Okay, good. Okay, now, um, if you think that uh, this idea is good for you. You are, uh, I, I suggest you to, to invite me to talk to your postgraduate dean on how to uh, develop the template, uh, train your staff, train your student on how to use the template for easy formatting. Yeah, that, that is what I can suggest. Yeah, so uh, at, at the moment, there are 14 universities, uh, 13 uh, in Malaysia, one in Brunei already uploaded the template and use uh, my, my method, yeah, this method. This will cut short a lot of your time. Okay, now, um, the slide that I'm going to use today for this workshop, oh, sorry, for this seminar is uh, on the uh, link that I provide you at the beginning. Okay, I give you again. Okay, so that you can follow. Uh, my 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 lecture or my seminar uh, at the same time okay so now i i now uh, open my slide yeah okay okay uh, let me share the screen okay give me number 1 if you can see my screen my slide Good. Okay. Now, um, I try to show you uh, how simple it is uh, by using uh, my method yeah, to format your document. Yeah. Actually, I developed uh, uh, two uh, big modules. One module on how to format the, your, your, your document in Microsoft Word uh, by using standard uh, items in Microsoft Word. And second, I develop one method with uh, TS uh, Wanduki Azman, okay, Dr. Wanduki Azman. Uh, the method or how to make it uh, faster yeah, by using formatting tab, okay? So here in this seminar, I will show you the difference between these two, 
Okay, but before that, I give you the the, the fundamental idea of what uh, this is formatting all about. Yeah. Now, uh, as a start, um, when I plan to give you this talk, please uh, take this idea seriously. Yeah. Some people don't know how to use Microsoft Word correctly. Then this will. Uh, cost him or her a lot of time and money. Yeah, but if you know if you know the, the technique correctly, if you do it correctly, then you can cut short a lot of your time. Yeah, as well as money. What does it mean by money? Yeah, sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you don't know because of uh, your poor uh, method on how to manage Microsoft Word uh, document. You need to extend uh, your study. Yeah. Why? Because a lot of things yeah, need to be taken care of. Yeah, uh, you don't know how to navigate your document. You don't know how to shift a uh, few items uh, from chapter four maybe to chapter one. Yeah, after the examiner look at your thesis after the viva, you know, examiner will ask you to shift a uh, part of your chapter four. To chapter one and chapter one maybe should be in your chapter three for example yeah so if you don't know how to handle microsoft Word correctly this will cost you a lot of your time yeah so this workshop or this idea this seminar will tell you how to handle microsoft Word effectively so that you can um, carry on with your work you don't care much about what people wanted you to do Okay, maybe your supervisor wanted you to insert new table after table 4.4, yeah? Uh, and shift table 1.1 to become table 4.3, for example, yeah? This can be done uh, quite easily, yeah? If you have the tools, the correct tools in Microsoft Word. So at the beginning, I tell you that uh, there are 40 universities uploading the template because of this idea. Um, the fundamental idea, uh, the fundamental idea that I use in my method is based on the guideline uh, provided or given by postgraduate office. So, to make your life easy, the template must be produced, eh? must be developed by postgraduate office. Yeah. So I am the one who involved in this uh, 14 universities. I, 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 I met them, I made a discussion telling them, this is the one in Microsoft Word, this is, this is the one that Microsoft Word can do, this one Microsoft Word cannot do, yeah? Okay, so based on that uh, guideline and the rule in Microsoft Word, Postgraduate Office should produce a thesis uh, template. Yeah, all right. Now, this will cut short a lot of your time. Yeah, and the format is approved. Everyone can get the same idea, the same font size, the same line spacing, uh, the same uh, margin alignment and everything. Yeah, so um, uh, why, yeah? why? Because this template is developed according to the default in Microsoft Word and following the guideline okay now why microsoft word yeah I, I just want to make yourself clear here in this uh seminar today what i'm talking about here in this uh, workshop is microsoft word yeah especially microsoft word uh of microsoft office uh 365 yeah so if your supervisor don't use microsoft word you don't have to attend this workshop yeah um, when you write your thesis, you have to know uh, your audience. Uh, if your, 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 your supervisor wanted you to do this and that based on his or her requirement, you have to follow them. Yeah. So uh, that's what I said. If your supervisor don't want you to use Microsoft Word, you don't have to attend this workshop. You don't have to use Microsoft Word. Yeah. All right. This method is uh, officially uh, is officially 
in uh, uh, my IPO copyright uh, by using this logo. Yeah. So uh, every one of us in in our group will use this logo uh, to show what we want to deliver based on uh, Microsoft Word template. Yeah. All right. Uh, this method is developed in in Malaysia. But I got it uh, from uh, my experience studying at UST of Bristol, United Kingdom. Yeah. Um, we started this idea in 3rd November 2011. At the moment, um, we gave up to 400 workshop knowledge sharing, and we have uh, around 124 team members uh, worldwide. Uh, we have one from uh, Bangladesh as well. We have one from Pakistan, yeah. Uh, we have uh, a few from Brunei, you know, and a lot of them is, is a Malaysian, yeah. I deliver the TOT for many universities uh, so that that university can help their students on their own, yeah. These are the, the university that uh, invited me to give uh, TOT so that they can uh, do on their own uh, this kind of training. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. These are uh, the, the 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 our our, our team members yeah, uh, delivering the, the the idea the workshop. All right. These are the list of the university who are uploading who are uploading the template. Yeah. And we uh, and and they keep on keep on updating the template from time to time. Yeah. So the latest university participating in this uh, idea is uh, OUM. Yeah. There are a few of you here from OUM, I think, in this uh, seminar. Okay. So fundamentally, uh, before you can start doing your 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 formatting by using Microsoft Word template, you have to understand that there are four modules that you have to know, yeah? So today I'm going to give an idea what this module all about, yeah? You have to know how to set your PC for formatting. Meaning to say that there are few items in Microsoft Word you need to activate, yeah? In order for you to do your formatting. The default is not there, yeah? The default is not there, you have to find it and activate it and uh, and use it uh, in the future. And secondly, uh, I will make sure you understand the meaning of style. Okay, now, uh, how many of you here already know what is style in Microsoft Word? Uh, can you please give number one if you know? If you don't know, give number uh, two. Right, okay. Okay. Okay, number two. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Style. Okay. 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 All right. Enough. So many of you don't know what is style. Okay. It's a, it's okay. It's okay. I I will I will give an emphasis on that. Yeah. So. After you know, after I, I tell you the style afterwards, I will give you uh, uh, an understanding why you must have a template in order for you to fully utilize your style. Yeah. And they are number number three. Okay. Before I can go to my number three, I have to explain to you that in one particular thesis, there are two parts. Yeah. Two parts. One, what we call the body of the thesis. And the second is the preface. Yeah, you know what is the preface. So preface is anything before chapter one. Yeah, understand? Can you please write it down? <laughs> okay. I, I'm afraid that if you don't 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 take this this term seriously, you will miss uh, my 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 method. Uh, okay. Preface is anything before your chapter one. Meaning that your cover page, your knowledge man, your table of content, your abstract, list of table, list of figures, and many more. Before you reach your chapter one, this is what we call preface. Okay. Normally, normally preface will have romantic number. Yeah. 
number one Roman, two Roman, three Roman, four Roman, and so on. Okay. So what is number Roman? This is the sample of number Roman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I give you uh, the, the idea in the in the uh, uh, chat box. Yeah. This is number number Roman. Yeah. Yeah. This is Roman. Oh, sorry. Smile uh, with uh, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. This is Roman number. Yeah. Yeah. Are you clear? All right. And this is Arabic number. Yeah. We are going to use this number at different part of our document. Page number. Yeah. Page number. Yeah. This is Arabic number. A R A A R A B I C. Arabic. Yeah. Okay. Now, are you clear with this? Okay. So when I use the word body, when I use the word body, meaning that I focusing on your chapter one onwards. Yeah. Chapter one onward, meaning that chapter one Arab, uh, number one Arab, number two, meaning that the beginning of your chapter one onward. That is what we call Arabic number page. Yeah. It is our body of the thesis. The difficult part of writing a thesis is on the body. Yeah. So you, you, uh, you may have uh, uh, up to 1.7 in chapter one. Yeah. So your friend may have up to 1.9. It is different. Yeah. So maybe you have uh, your sub uh, after your 1.6. Yeah. Your friend have the subheading uh, after 1.5. Uh, it, 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 it is different from one to one, yeah? So um, the difficult part of the formatting of the thesis is the formatting of the body, all right? So uh, at the end of this module, okay, uh, you should be able to format the body of your thesis eh, in module number three. So what is module number four? When I prepare the template of your thesis, I prepare everything. It's just only a simulation from cover, sorry, from cover page, sorry, from front page till the end, right? So the preface is there for you, but they are waiting for you to edit certain part, yeah? For example, you need to edit the abstract, you have to put your abstract, you have to update your table of content, okay? You don't have to generate your table of content. You can uh, quickly update your table of content based on what you do uh, on your body. Okay. Now, um, how how we can do it? Yeah, how we can do it? Yeah, I will show you after this. Okay. Um, some people uh, think that uh, formatting a thesis is time consumption. Yeah. Uh, you consume uh, a lot of your time by formatting a thesis. This is not true. Eh? This is not true. But if you use Microsoft Word correctly, thesis formatting will speed up your writing. Yeah, I will show you after this. All right. Um, the idea is like this. You have to know the structure of the thesis. You know how to format it. You know what is the content of your thesis, yeah? I, I'm going. I'm not going to touch this tool today, yeah. I'm not going to touch reference manager, okay? So you know the structure of your thesis based on the thesis guideline. You know how to format it, and you know how to put the, the content of your thesis. This fundamental uh, idea should uh, help you if you know how to do it uh, correctly. Uh, uh, will will help you to speed up your thesis writing. Okay, now uh, again, what I mentioned just now, the item usually usually the item title page abstract table of content list of figures list of table is what we call a preface. Yeah, so this item will have will have romantic number. However, starting from introduction till references, you are going to have Arabic number. This is going to be your body. All right. Okay. All right. 
Now, uh, is there any question that you like to ask so far? Any question? Is it clear? Clear, yeah? Okay, good. All right, Alhamdulillah. Okay. So now um, I I want to show you what is style. Yeah? So now I open my Microsoft Word. Okay, my module number one is to show you how to set your PC for formatting. Yeah. Now I will share you. Uh, I will share you um, uh, what we call uh, PC setting. Yeah. If you look at my my module number one PC setting. Okay. Now I will show you how to share uh, how to um, how to uh, what we call it uh, set your PC for formatting. Can can you see my Microsoft Word now? Word number one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not very familiar with Zoom. Uh, I'm afraid that uh, maybe I, 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 I'm not aware what is going on there. All right. Now, um, set PC for formatting. Yeah. The first thing that you have to set when you want to uh, uh, do your formatting, you have to find this button. Okay. Before that. <laughs> okay. I will have to explain it. the terms that I'm going to use. Yeah. The, the, the item at the top here, we call it tab. Yeah. Tab. Yeah, tab, T A B, yeah, tab. Yeah, tab. It is not the same as uh, iPhone tab, Samsung tab. That one is different, yeah. So I'm, I'm afraid that some of you might confuse you know, when I tell you formatting tab, meaning that uh, I, I will uh, sell you the tools, right, the gadget. No, right? so in Microsoft Word, we call this tab. This is home tab. This is formatting tab. This is insert tab. Yeah. This is layout tab. This is design tab. Yeah. So after you click the tab, you will see the output at the bottom. The output at the bottom is what we call the ribbon. Okay. Are you clear? Uh, you 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 can jot down there. Yeah. Uh, first tab and second is the ribbon. Yeah. Okay. Now on the home tab, you can find this okay you can you can you see this this is this button okay oh my god okay wait wait, wait. i i'm going to use and on it yeah i'm going to draw this yeah can can you see this yeah in microsoft word yeah this is what we call show hidden characters yeah or show uh, paragraph marks yeah let, let me try to show you uh, how how to use this yeah let me show you how to use this um it is a right okay um okay wait okay now if i type my name here all right if I type my name here, okay, if I type my name here and I hit enter, yeah, I, I hit enter. Now I am not able to see what is behind uh, this uh, text, yeah. I need to click this. This is going to tell me uh, how many space bar that I already enter in between D and Z, yeah in between i and j and actually i put one space bar after the r yeah so uh, at the same time i can see now i already hit uh enter twice yeah this is the importance of this show paragraph marks or what we call it show and hide this symbol yeah uh, show paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbol. Yeah. For example, maybe you find your copy paste from the internet, you can see the format behind it. Yeah. Um, all right. Now I, I, I need to explain what is this box. Yeah. 
this box is what we call uh, text boundary. Yeah. So this text boundary is important for you to understand that the item is different formatting rules from one box to another box. Okay. How to uh, get this box? Yeah. You have to go to file, you have to go to file, and you have to go to option. You have to go to option, and you have to um, uh, go to advance or uh, customize ribbon, yeah, and find, um, yeah, sorry, uh, go to advance, go to advance, and you have to go down, go down, and you have to uh, look, you have to wait, uh, I need to draw this. You need to go to word option from file. Okay, from file you click, you choose word option. And from the option, word option, you use advanced and you have to check this book. Okay. Um, this book will help you to give this kind of book that you see just now. Yeah. You check this book and then, um, okay. Oh, wait, uh, wait, uh, I need to clear down the drawings, yeah, and then stop this one, right? Be okay, then you get this uh, text boundary. Okay, I will explain uh, the, the difference between these two. Okay, I want to type my father's name. And my mother's name. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, how can I easily format this uh, 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 text? Yeah. All right. That is why you need to understand what is style. Okay. The style is on the home tab. You should be able to see. This item, yeah. This item. I'm I'm not sure whether you have the same as mine, yeah. So, but what what most important is like this on the home tab. On the home tab, you can see um this one. Okay, wait, ah, wait, wait. I I I I make a drawing for you. Yeah, okay, I make a drawing for you. Uh, draw. Yeah. Uh, on the home tab. Oh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Um, draw it. Yeah. Um, wait. Okay. On the home tab, on the home tab, you should be able to see a clipboard, a font, a paragraph, and a style here. Yeah. Right. So now what you need to do is to click the button next to the to the style group. Yeah. Uh, next to it, yeah. I I give a color. The color that I'm using now is green. Yeah. All right. Uh, I I want to download this. Yeah. I want to download this. Yeah. Shift. Yeah. Right. I will I will I will give you this picture afterwards. Yeah. The link. Okay. Now you you click this button. Yeah. You click this button. Um. Clear all drawing. Okay. You click this button. You click this button, then you see the output is like this. Okay, initially it's going to be like this. If this is the first time you click uh, your your Microsoft Word uh, on this button, yeah, you should be able to see something like this. All right, you tick on Show Review, and you double click on the style. Okay, so you will see this uh, what we call uh, pane. Yeah, we call it style pane is on your uh, right, yeah? right hand side of your Microsoft Word. This is what we call PC setting. You have to set your, your PC uh, like this so that you can do your formatting uh, easily. All right, now let me tell you what is the style all about. The style is the item on this style pane. We call this, okay, I put the color, yeah? I put the color. I put the color, I put the box so that you can see. Okay, this is the fundamental, yeah? This is what we call style pane. 
long time ago people use the style from here okay let, let me let me try to let me try to uh click on this yeah some people used to click this and get this yeah for for me the use of this item is not very effective yeah the most effective way to use the style is by using uh, this uh, area on this side yeah so what you need to do is just uh with uh with i try to remove this yeah uh, what you need to do is to activate it yeah that is what i call to to set your pc for formatting so you need to activate and click this button you click this button you will get this okay on my youtube i already explained how how to handle this uh, effectively all right so now if you have this if you have this what you need to do what you need to know is all right if you put your cursor on this what we call text boundary yeah what we call is uh, text boundary i simply click on heading one see can you see it? Can you see? So the style uh, for my name is now using heading one. If I think that I, I don't want to use heading one style, I want to use title, you see? Straight away, I get the font that I want. It is Calibri Light Heading 28, yeah? All right, now I want to repeat the same idea for uh my father's name all right maybe you can see uh this one is easy you know maybe you, you can simply click on select and uh, adjust from here no that is not the correct way of how you should use microsoft word if you try to select this and adjust from here you will waste a lot of your time so the best is for you to use the style on the style page Okay, the style that you see here is the default style. Okay, we can create our own style later. All right. So if you want to repeat, yeah, if you want to repeat the idea, so you can uh, click on the next item and click on the title. So you you are actually repeating the same idea of what you have already set on the style name title. Right. So the next one is using the title as well, okay? So are you clear with the uh, idea of the style? If you are clear, put number one. If you are not clear, uh, put number two and ask me your question. Give me your question. Okay, good. The challenge now, what is the challenge now? The challenge now, if you don't have the template, you don't have the style, so you have to learn of how to create the style on your own. This definitely will waste a lot, lot of your time because everyone need to understand what the style, when you can do it, how to get the style as what they wanted and many more. So the best, as I told you on my presentation just now, the style or the template is developed by your university. Eh? It is what I have done for all 14 universities in Malaysia. So I told them that uh, they have to uh, uh, create a template with the style, simulate everything, and the student just need to use the style that they need to use. Yeah, The student don't have to create the style. Okay, let me show you how difficult it is. Is it difficult to, to create the style? Okay. Let me start by showing you how I can create one style for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I uh, want to remove the, the, the style from uh, this one. Okay. The current style is the title. Okay. I can use this button. This is what we call, uh, wait, uh, I, I put the color on it. Uh, I put the color on it so that you can, uh, yeah. Okay, we have done with this just now. Now I show you this button. Okay, now I uh, save this picture. Okay, now what is the use of this uh, style? Uh, oh, sorry, what is the use of this button? Yeah, what is the use of this button? Yeah, the button that I put an arrow. It is how you can release the style, yeah, that you use, yeah. For example, just now, these three items 
are using uh, uh, title as a style. So now I want to release uh, this item from the style title. Yeah. So how can I do it? How can I do it? I can simply uh, click here. Okay, click here. I click on this button. One, two, three. Can you see? I get back my original style, which is normal. Yeah. So if you want to do it correct uh, quickly, just Control A, Control A, select your document, everything, and use this button. Okay. So now what I have done uh, for around 45 minutes, I introduce you my idea. Okay. I help you to activate the style pin and how to use the style and how to release the style. Okay. The next step is I try to create my own style. Okay. By using the, bot the, but the button here. Okay. Now I um, try to draw something here. I use a uh, color, uh, blue color, yeah, at the bottom here. Okay. 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 So I, I will use this button, yeah. I will use this button to create a new style, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. I click this button. Click. Okay, click. So when I click this button, I will get this uh, this pop up. All right. I maybe can give name of the style that I will remember. All right. Maybe this one. I say item item for name. Yeah. Item for name. What I want is uh, the format that I wanted is uh, Arial, right? I want to make it bold. I want to make it center, yeah? So maybe I have interest in uh, looking at the font size slightly bigger, yeah? 14, yeah? And then I say, okay. So now I get my style here. So what if I want to use it again for the other document. I just simply put there and I click on item for name. Yeah, I will get it. Okay. So what is my method all about to relate with this that you have learned? Yeah. So I already developed the style for your thesis formatting so that if you want to do your formatting, you don't have to create the style. You just simply type what you want and click on the style that already developed for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You, you, you can get it. I think uh, the organizer will give you the record of this session. I, I think at the same time, I will uh, upload this uh, 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 video on my YouTube channel. I think better, uh, uh, one one better for for me to do that, you know, so that you don't have to store the the the, the recording. Yeah, sure, sure. I will give, already uh, provide you the link of my YouTube. Uh, this one. Get it? Okay, I have another one, my friend. Yeah. Okay. He 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 got some of the the video as well. Ni Dr. Shafi. He is in this room as well, yeah. Um, and another one is um, Dr. Wanzuki. There are now three of us producing the, the video for this idea. And one more, I think Dr. Nawawi. Oh, yeah. But majority of, of the video is from uh, me, uh, Mama Zuli, and Wanzuki. Yeah, yeah. With a okay. Now, uh, this is him, Doctor. Uh, with a. The Microsoft Word template on your deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one, Doctor Nawawi. I I think I already made myself clear with this time. Okay. Now, the the second part is how to. Uh, fully utilize the style okay 
maybe some of you now already clear. Okay, maybe you have an idea how to create the style, but I, I suggest you, uh, if your university are free with uh, miscellaneous requirement on formatting, you can create your own style, okay? Say, for example, if you want to make uh, the style with number, all right, I, I want to clear this, yeah? I want to clear this, all right? Uh, say, I, I, okay, the next setting, yeah? The next setting that you need to uh, do, okay, can you see my screen now? Still on Microsoft Word, yeah? Yes? Yes. I'm, I'm not, ah, okay, good, good. Okay, good. I think uh, all the time uh, uh, you, you maintain saying uh, my Microsoft Word, yeah? Not other material. Just want to make yourself clear. Okay, good. Okay, now um, the next step that you need to do is to activate the, 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 um, the, the item on this side, yeah? Uh, on, this one is on your right and on your left, yeah? On your left, you must have what we call navigation pane. Okay, now I want to remove this. I want to remove this. Uh, with uh, with click all drawing. Yeah, I uh want to draw something. Okay, we have uh just now our style pane on the side. Yeah, and if you go to view tab on the view tab you can see this item what we call navigation pane yeah navigation pane and you have to check this box yeah you have to check this box um okay you have to check this box you check this box if you check this box okay you will see the appearance of something or what we call navigation pane on your uh on your uh left yeah on your left i uh, use a red uh, red um box yeah red box okay so on your right you have style pin on your left you have navigation pin this is what we call pc setting yeah pc setting Later, I will help you to activate the developer tab. Yeah. So the next stage, not uh, not at this stage. Yeah. All right. Now, <clears throat> what you should do, what you should do, if you already have this style pane and navigation pane, okay, you need to understand some of the item on the style pane, some of the style on the style pane will make it appear, if you use it, will make the item here will appear on the navigation pane, right? I give you one example here. I put my cursor, my linking cursor on my name. I click on heading one, yeah? So now you see my, my name appear on navigation pane, yeah? These are the rules in Microsoft Word that already um, embed, yeah? embed in the style name heading one. That if you use it, not only the font size, the alignment, the line spacing, but it will appear on the navigation pane. This is not true if you use title. Okay. The, 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 the style of the title is okay based on the setting here, but it is not appear on the navigation pane, okay? So if I use heading one, I will get it in my, my, my father's name will appear on the navigation pane and my mother's name is appear on the navigation pane as well, right? So um, there are, now you know that there are certain setting, important, uh, certain, set, uh, very important setting, um, that you can include on the style here that 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 particular setting will ensure some of the item appear on the navigation pane so our guide on our table of content listing uh, item page number item page number is based on navigation pane all right 
Okay. Um, now, um, how to uh, put the number? You can go to home and put the number. You can use this one. Okay, you can choose this one. Yeah. Uh, this is what we call material level list. Yeah. And uh, put it here. Right. So now you can get the number straight away. Okay. The number is in the front of one, 1.1. 1 .1, okay. So if you uh, want to type something here, for example, I use random word. I use random word here, um, five one, right? All right. If this one uh, will be the sub of my name, uh, I will get uh, 1.1 1 .1 automatically, yeah? Right, 1.2 automatically. You don't have to worry about the numbering sequence, you know? For example, here you may be by accident hit it first, yeah. So that uh, you want to make sure one point four is the first one. You can put your cursor here. You can click on heading two. These are the next stage here yeah, of uh, understanding how you can develop the 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 style on this uh, style pane. So what uh, what I'm trying to show you that is. Uh, not only uh, the setting of the font size, but the style as well can help you to have uh, the numbering system correctly, right? If I want to repeat the same stage, the same idea on the next one, yeah? R A and D. Okay, uh, this one is uh, 3.1, yeah? Hit enter, all right? Um, if I use this one, automatically I get 2.1. Automatically I get 2.2. Automatically I get 2.3. Okay. So um, the, the difficult part for you, if you want to do your own formatting, meaning that you have to create a proper style for your university. Okay, uh, if if every one of you, for example, yeah, every one of you from UPM, right? If you don't have the style like this on this side, every one of you need to understand what is style, create the style for UPM. You have to read this guideline, try to understand how to make sure you get based on the this guideline, and maybe for a strange reason, every one of you unable to produce it. Yeah. So the best, what is the best for you? The best for you is to ask them to produce the style for you. Okay. So that everyone can simply use the style that they wanted. Clear? <clears throat> okay. Now, on your, uh, on your, uh, on your uh, Dropbox, I already provide the template for UPM. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, let me show you. The next step is where you already have the style and you want to use it. Okay. Okay, now, oh, sorry. Okay, very clear. All right. Now, um, uh, the next is, uh, if you look at the, the, the folder that I gave you, for UPM1, uh, can you see uh, the, the item uh, on the, that folder? Okay. I provide you one file named UPM template TNR underscore A, uh, dash A4 dash to 2020 version 1.3. So the OTX. It is Microsoft Word template, yeah? All right. L let me try to explain. Um, <clears throat> so the file that we use to store, the file that we use to store the style is uh, Microsoft Word template, yeah? Okay, now can you see my explorer? I am showing my file explorer now. Can you see it? Yes, good, good. Okay, I, I put the, the, the ink so that you can see it, okay. Now for UPM one, okay, for other than UPM, you still still you can, you can get this idea. 
can you say can you share the file here please um i provide you the link the link just now uh, okay 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 wait uh wait 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 uh wait uh okay wait i give you the link yeah. uh zaid i provide you the link uh you you can download from this link okay Okay, got it. All right, good. Welcome. Okay, now um, oh, wait, I I show my screen again. Okay, okay. Now you already have this folder in front of you. On that folder, I provide you the slide for this uh, workshop. I I will help you to understand the other material, right? So look, um, the uh, template that I provide for UPM, all right? This is not from UPM, yeah? This is the one from your thesis guideline, number one. And number two, it is based on uh, my uh, communication with your, uh, you, with your student, yeah? With, with, with your UPM student already submitted and graduated already, okay? This is what we believe what they wanted. Okay. So um, this is the template, right? So in this template, we store the style. Okay. We store the style. All right. Now, if you want to use this template, I suggest you to create one folder. Okay. I put it here. New. New folder. I... Put the name of this folder as a UPM. All right, sorry, UPM thesis. Yeah, thesis. Okay, UPM thesis. Okay, maybe this is my thesis. Uh, M Z J. Okay, M Z J. So I have to copy, copy, and put it here. Yeah, put it here. Okay. All right. Okay. The guideline is guideline. Uh, good. Uh, Siti Shohada. Good. Uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, the best from my observation is that together with uh, the guideline yeah together with the guideline is the template okay so now what 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 is the what 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 i have done what i've done yeah what i've done is to transform the idea in this is guideline into special document called microsoft word template okay so what Microsoft Word template can do, yeah? What Microsoft Word template can do, if you receive this document, okay, I'll show you, yeah? You can, you can double click the template, okay? You can double click the template, okay? You can double click the template, all right? Okay, I show you what happened if you double click the template. Uh, okay. Can you see my Microsoft Word? If you can see my Microsoft Word now, all right. If you double click the template, Microsoft Word now open, uh, open new document, right? New document, document three, maybe whatever it is. So you have to save this document on the same folder. Yeah, I save as on the same folder as my UPM. Yeah, my UPM. This is yeah. I save it. Yeah, I give name is this this is this is one. Yeah, this is one. All right. So now cannot see doctor window can yeah. Can you see my microphone now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just now, uh, I show you uh, how to uh, how to 
uh, handle the DOTX file. Yeah. Okay. Now I, what 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 uh, you should have now in front of you if you are following my step. Okay. Uh, the first thing is you will receive the DOTX. Okay. You need to create one folder. In that folder, you have to paste the template DOTX and double click on it and save whatever name that you want on the same folder. You can see something like this if you are following me. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you clear with this? How I managed to how I managed to create this is one. So this is one is being created by double click on the template DOTX and save on the same folder. Okay. All right. Are you clear with this? If you are clear for number one. Hmm. Okay. I'm waiting. Maybe some of you want to follow me. Yeah. Want to follow the step. Yeah. Doctor, can uh, Doctor can save the DOSX in different folder? Uh, you can, but I think the best is go uh, is uh, keeping the DOTX and DOSX on the same folder. Okay, why? Okay, maybe you, you want to understand why. The reason is that when something is not right, yeah, maybe you found out that your template is wrong, yeah, uh, you need to edit it, yeah, or there is an update version of your template. You know the location of the template, you know which template you have to replace. So your document and your template, the best is on the same folder. Clear? Pobalan? I, I, I use the word the best, yeah, the best. Okay, because if it is on the same folder, you can uh, easily find it, yeah? If something is not right, something need to be edited on the uh, template, but it is not a must. Okay, uh, the other uh, terminology that I, I can say is that the best is you know the location of the template. It is the best. And the best location is where you put everything on the same folder. Uh, okay, okay, more proper manage. Yeah, uh, correct, uh, Dr. Mbashafi. Okay, now I, I will show you maybe in, in the next uh, shop, maybe in the next seminar, why you have to do this? Eh? I give you a, a video, maybe why you need to keep this on the same folder. All right. Now, if you have this uh, idea already, maybe you already create this is one. Okay. Now I open my this is one. Yeah. I show you my yeah. I show you my Microsoft Word. Okay. I show you my Microsoft Word. Screen to share. Okay. Now look. Okay, so this uh, Microsoft Word uh, file, okay, is uh, this is one. Okay, now I go to uh, home. I create, uh, I, I want to uh, set my style pin. Yeah, yeah, right. Look, uh, for the title of your thesis, you have to use UPM font one, yeah. For the name, you have to use the same style, UPM font one title, yeah? Okay, uh, this is our team from UPM as well. He is one of the creator or the developer of this template, yeah? You can find his name, yeah? Okay, how about this one? How about this one still the same, UPM font one title, this one is the same. So to help you, to guide you, look, I put the name of the title. The style is UPM font one title. Yeah, font one title. This one, the style is UPM font one title. Yeah, look, what happened to this one? Copyright. Copyright will use the same style, but for this one, can you see 
they are using UPM copyright style. Okay. So in other words, in other words, this thesis one, the OCX, is a document where we create a simulation what is in your cover page, what is on your copyright page, and so on, together with the style. So you can manage, you can uh, 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 do your formatting correctly, as long as you know what is the style for which part. All right. I, I don't want to explain this uh, more on this one, but uh, clearly you can understand now from this one is cover page. Okay. This one is copyright page. This is what we call uh, uh, preface, yeah? preface. Yeah? You scroll down, this is your preface as well. This is a preface as well, you know. Your preface, this is your preface item until your table of content. All right. If you look at your table of content here, this is the item from your body. Look, my body, the first, uh, the first title of my body is introduction, introduction. And this one is chapter one, is chapter X UPM. Yeah. This one is using heading two. Yeah. For the paragraph, I'm going to use UPM para one. Yeah. So this one is UPM para one as well. This one is using caption table UPM. Right. So um, in order for you to understand which style is for which part, you need to click, put your cursor on that part and look at the blue box on the style pin. Okay. In other words, if you want to repeat the same idea by using the same style, you have to um, uh, uh, click on the same. Uh, style that you saw before that. Okay, let, let me let me try to delete this one. Yeah, let me try to delete this one. Right. If I want to repeat the same idea just now, I need to type chapter chapter one. All right. Chapter one will use chapter X GPM. Okay. Enter. Okay. The next step is to Type the word introduction. Yeah, the type introduction. I N T R O D U C T R O introduction. And for the introduction, I have to use heading one. Okay. So you will get the setting that's already give you the amount of space as a standard. Okay. Uh, I want to repeat the same idea on this one. Yeah. So I have to to delete this one, delete this one, delete, yeah. I clear the format, yeah. I just need to type chapter two, chapter two, and I type the word introduction. Okay, sorry, literature review. Eh? To review, right? So what is the style for chapter? Two is the same style as chapter one. Yeah. So for chapter one, just now we use chapter X UPM. So if you go to chapter two, chapter two here. Oh, where is it? So yeah. Oh, oh God. Where do I keep which one? 1.4, eh? 1.4, 1.5. Yeah, this one, yeah. 1.6, okay. So about chapter two, okay, look. If I put, I click on chapter X GPM, I will get the same setting as chapter one. How about this one? Eh? Actually, the style for heading one, so you cannot see the number, but actually there is the number in the front of the literature review, which is number two, actually. The number is being hidden, so that uh, when you when you use it, when you use it automatically, you will get the introduction as a 2.1. Okay. 
these, these are the system that you need to learn uh, so that when, when, when you use the style, you know which one will affect the, the other uh, numbering system. Okay. Uh, I, I maybe can, can show you the, the, the connection between these two. Yeah. I put the, I put the, uh, yeah. This one is this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. And I put another color. So another color. Oh, oh sorry. For oh, this one. Doctor, there is a way we need to create this format with our condition. Okay, I, I will show you after this. City not Lisa. Wait, uh, wait, wait. I'll show you after this. Uh you have to understand uh which style in, in this process, I help you to understand which style is for which part. Yeah. So later after this, uh this will guide you to understand uh the, the rest of the style. Okay. Wait. Good, good question. I, I like that question. Yeah. Okay, this one is for uh, this one. Okay, uh, I give you the arrow. Okay, are you clear with this? If you are clear with this, put number one, please. Okay. I, I don't have enough time to explain every single style. But the way you can understand the style is by looking at this document. This is one, the OCX. Okay. So now the question is, you already have your document. Yeah, you already have your document. So how you can format your document by using uh, this uh, template UPM, right? Is that uh, in your mind now? Okay. Now, for those who are uh, who, who just want to make a quick uh, uh, formatting, you, 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 you can proceed the formatting on this thesis one, okay? Meaning that uh, you, you already have the teacher review here in this side, is that right? You already have this, uh, so you just simply delete the item here. Okay, look, I show you one, one example, yeah? I, I show you how, how you can uh, do it, yeah? Uh, wait. Uh, clear uh, drawing, right? Uh, okay. Say, for example, you want to proceed with this, yeah? Okay. So you can insert your file here, insert your file here, and continue with the formatting from this onward, yeah? Look, if you want to make 2.1, Right, you have to use heading two, right? So, what is the uh, first item after the word decision review? Okay, if you still have two point one, okay, you you can you can leave it here. Okay, you can leave it here. Okay, I I put it X, I paste it here. All right. So, what is your next paragraph? Okay, I I put certain word. Yeah, I put certain word. Okay, I put certain paragraph words here. Okay, this is my word. This is my paragraph. Okay. So I know that the paragraph will use uh, UPM para one, okay? Which means that this paragraph will use UPM para one. Uh, okay, para one. Okay, how about this paragraph is the same? Okay, para one. So you have to click one by one, yeah? One by one, okay? I show you one by one, okay? All right, okay. Now, maybe, maybe. After this, you have new item. After the introduction, maybe you, you need to uh, type something. It is new item. Okay, maybe the title is um, uh, new, okay, new development. Okay, new development on uh, market, on uh, modeling. Okay. So I, I think that uh, this is my thesis, okay? Uh, after the introduction, I want to keep this as my 2.2. So what I need to do is put my cursor there and I click on heading two. Automatically, I get 2.2, okay? For those who want to proceed with this idea, you can continue your writing on thesis one, okay? So right after this, what you need to do is go to your table of content. 
So top of the content is ready for you. What you need to do is right click and update field only. Okay. On this area, on this area, you right click and update field. Okay. Look, look at. Yeah. I have my wait. Uh, I have my digital review. Uh, two point one. I have two point two. New development on modeling. Yeah. Go to this one. All right. I have my two point two years previous study. This is from the template. Yeah. So I should get uh, my two point two new development here. Okay. Look. I simply need to right click and update field. See. I have my 2.2 new development on modeling page number 10. Yeah, this one. Okay. As if they would mind to change to BM, the preface and editing possible. Yes, yes, yes. You you can change it. You can change it. Uh, how, how to change the, the the word? You just go to this one. Okay, what is the the the, the word for dedication in Malay? You okay, if you want to delete everything, yes, but okay, look, look. What is dedication? Dedication in uh, Malay. Okay. What is dedication in Malay? Dedication. Okay. You type dedication. You, you delete everything. Okay. Dedication. Okay. Hit cat box. Done. The same style, different word. You get the same. Okay. Pahargaan. It's fine. But that's how you can do it. Are you clear? The style is ready for you. Whatever whatever word that you want to use is up to you. Okay, you don't have to think. You don't have to spend time on 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 creating the style. And the best is the style will help you to have a proper output on your table of content. Look, I edit the word table of content as as what? Senarai kandungan eh kandungan kan do and okay kandungan. Okay okay. Okay, look. Okay, I edit here kandungan, and you should be able to see on this table of content will become kandungan. Can you see? Are you clear? Okay. Now I I will answer your question. How uh, how about if you already have your document? Yeah. Already you have your document. Okay. This is how you can handle it. Okay. I want to save this file for you. Save. Yeah. Say, say this part for you. Later, I will I will show the, the other part of this document uh, on how to uh, fully utilize the style and the template. All right. So now I show you my screen on File Explorer. Okay. Can you see my File Explorer now? Okay. Now, um, say for example, you already have the, the the file. Yeah. You already have the file that you type it on your own. Okay. I, I want to find uh, my material for you so that may be the same as yours. I already have that file somewhere. Okay. I, I want to find it now. Okay. I find it. I try to find it. Okay. Okay. No. Uh, what, what is on your screen now? Can you see something on your screen? You see my file explorer still? You can see okay good um wait, uh, i want to open another new file explorer okay i want to open my new file explorer um okay i want to find my own file that i want to use the template to format my file okay All right copy i I have to put it here. Can you see? Can you see I already uh, paste, copy and paste my old chapters file? Okay. Doctor, macam mana kalau kami buat asing-asing template nak gabungkan? No, you, you, okay, wait, wait, wait. You must have, you must have only one template. But the asing-asing one, <laughs> the separate one must be your this is chapter. Do you understand the idea? Uh, okay. Async chapter. Yeah, correct. Okay. Async chapter is like this. Okay. Okay. The first step that I will show you. Okay. Uh, okay. Correct. Okay. The first step that I show you this one where I have everything. 
one chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four on the same folder on the same folder okay the next step right after this i will show you how about if i have chapter by chapter one chapter one file okay i i copy and paste my material okay. actually this material is on the link that i gave you okay uh what we call uh, uh this is uh upm this is guideline yeah you, you you check you check the the, the material that i gave you on the bitly mzj24 uh you, you I, I provide you the link how you can assess this material okay i i copy my material i put it here are you okay class uh, okay so now i want to entertain uh two questions how to fully utilize the template okay so now i open my all chapters file i open my all chapters file Okay, I open my all chapters file. Okay. Um, okay, can can you see my Microsoft Word file? Can you see my Microsoft Word file? Yes. Okay, my Microsoft Word. Okay, good. All right. I open my uh, all chapters file. All right. Now, do you remember at the beginning of this workshop, I tell you that I, or I, I did develop two methods. One is um, by using the standard tab, which is developer tab. And the other one is I create one special tab for formatting. All right. You can buy this formatting nine tab on my Shopee. If you don't want to buy it, it's fine. Okay. I, I, I feel very much happy if you don't buy it okay but this one is going to help you more okay if you want to buy it if you want to use it all right before you want to buy it please understand that this idea is coming from developer tab okay maybe you don't have developer tab in front of you all right so i i will i will help you to set your pc to get the developer tab okay how many of you first of all how many of you already have developer tab on your microsoft word or you already use developer tab put number one if you don't have it put number two uh, you don't have number one okay good okay 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 so many of you don't have developer tab okay on my video on my youtube i already provide the video to get this developer tab for you in order for you to uh, uh to format this document you must have developer tab all right so how to get developer tab go to file go to file go to option go to option go to customize ribbon and on this screen look on the screen right look wait uh, i want to make a drawing on the screen from first word go to microsoft word option go to customize ribbon right on these main tabs yeah on this side you must be able to see the word developer for those who don't have this okay so i just want to make sure you understand that uh, by default by default microsoft word don't check this box for you this give the reason why you don't have this developer tab sorry you don't have oh sorry you don't have this developer tab because by default microsoft word don't check this box for you so what you need to do now if you want to fully utilize the template that i provide you check this box and you need to check this box only once on that particular PC in front of you. Meaning, if you want to use the same idea on the other PC, you have to check whether the developer tab is there on that PC. If you don't have it, you have to repeat the same process on that PC, on Microsoft Word. Yeah? All right. If you already check this box, you say, okay, then you will see the developer tab. All right. For the purpose of this workshop, I want to uncheck my, my box. 
and I will check it again. Okay. okay, right. Later, if I use A4, later how I can transfer to, okay. Now, um, my template is A4, yes. If you want to transfer to B5 format, okay. You can ask your uh, SGS office to provide the instruction. It's very easy. It's very easy. Yeah. I, I think you need to change the font size of your paragraph or whatever. Change, change the change the change the paper size and change certain part of the document to become to make it the font uh, smaller. Okay, Lisa. Easy, easy. Uh, a few of my friends told, told me it's easy one. Okay. As long as you know, you know how to handle this. Okay. Are you okay with my answer? If you don't know, you can, you can PM me. Yeah. Okay. I am a Malaysian. You don't worry. <laughs> okay. Now, look, I, I want to uh, show you uh, uh, how I uh uncheck this box what happened yeah uh, okay i save this one yeah i clear on my drawing uh i remove the drawing i say i uncheck this box so now my developer tab is missing yeah so if i want to get it i go to file i go to option i go to uh uh Customize ribbon. Uh, check this box. Okay, look. Okay, I don't have my developer tab at the top here. I say okay. So now I get my developer tab. Yeah. Okay. So what is developer tab? Developer tab. If you click on the developer tab, the ribbon will. One of them is having this button, document template. All right. Now, before we can use the developer temp the document template, I want you to open uh, open the style pin and the navigation pin on this side as well. All right. Look, uh, I now uh, want to show you my formatting tab. If you remove this style pin, okay. So it is not easy for you to go to style pane, click this one, go to view, check this box, right? So time consuming. So to make it faster, I suggest you to use this formatting line if you want. Okay, it is an option, but a must. Okay, you still, I, I actually, I combine this button and uh, this button together in one tab. Here is the one, right? So if I click on this button style, I get my style pin. If I check this box, I already have my navigation pin, right? So the next step is if you go to developer, you need to click this button. If you want to make it quickly, you go to formatting line, you have this button. Is it the same button? Okay. This button and this button is the same. I managed to bring this button on one particular tab the name is the same attached template. Okay, look, I go to developer, I click this one, I get this pop up. Okay, I go to this formatting line, I click attach template, I get the same pop up. Okay, all right. So, what is the use of this document template? Is where you can transfer or you can share. You can share the style that you saw just now on the template on the style pane so that you can format this document. All right. I, I will answer your question uh, later, Morsi. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, correct. Uh, uh, Nick Mohamad Saiful. Yeah. Uh, how to create page number, prepage Roman body. Okay. Wait. I Okay. To answer your question, uh, Morsi, I have the, the module for you on my YouTube channel, if you want to understand how I create the page number uh, based on Arabic and, and Romanic number, it is module number five. Clear, Mursi? Module number five. What is the difference between developer tab and formatting number nine? Okay, on the developer tab, OK, 
Okay, wait, ah, wait, wait. I, I will explain. Okay, look. If you, if you, if you, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I remove this. I remove my developer tab. I, I remove my developer tab. I remove my developer tab. Okay, I remove my developer tab. Okay, which means that you, you, you don't have, you don't have uh, the, you don't have the style pane, you don't have the navigation pane, and you have the, you don't have the developer tab. But you want to use the template, yeah? but you want to use the template, right? So you need to install formatting nine. If you buy this formatting nine, I will help you to, to install it, yeah, to install it. Do not double click. Yeah? Install it means that you have to uh, go through certain process, certain steps, so that you will get this yeah? on your uh, uh, Microsoft Word formatting nine. Okay. First, you need to okay before this, you have to go to home. You have to click this one. This time around, you don't need. So just click on style. You get the style pane. Just check this one on the navigation pane, and you don't have to use. Uh, developer tab, you have this item the same as developer tab. This one, okay. Nor Azarina, understand? Before, before at the beginning of this, this formatting, this seminar, I don't touch formatting nine. So, I, I, I guide you the default process, meaning that you need to understand the fundamental. And if you understand the fundamental, uh, I, I now can show you the advanced method where every single item on the formatting is now on your one tab in C2. You, you don't need to go to reference tab. You don't need to go to view tab. You don't need to go to layout tab. You see, you don't need to go to insert tab. Every single item that you need for formatting is there for you. You understand? Okay. It is your choice. Okay. It is not a must. I don't make a compulsory for you to, to buy. You no. Know? But if you understand that you need to use uh, certain uh, 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 step in Microsoft Word, maybe for example, to update the TOC just now to do it, to do the insert caption. I will, I will, I will, I will guide you to, 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 to use it. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, okay. I, I, I want to use this attached template. Uh, we, you will get this. You will get the same uh, pop up on your developer tab. Okay. I, I try to activate the uh, word option again. And I, 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 I activate the developer tab. Right. So on this developer tab, uh, uh, you should use this one. But uh, for formatting nine, you need to use this button. They are the same. Exactly the same. Yeah. OK. Now, to be safe, I think I want to show you this one. Yeah. OK. All right. So now, uh, why you don't get the style from UPM on this side? Because the template that you are using now is not that particular template. So you have to replace, okay? How to replace with the current template with the template from UPM? You have to uh, click attach, attach, and you have to find your, um, your material, uh, your template, your template, yeah? Oh, sorry, on my uh, desktop, yeah? Uh, this one, yeah? Yeah. Remember that you store this, this template just now, UPM template on 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 your folder, UPM this is uh, MZJ. Okay. Right? This will answer uh, your question just now, your friend's question. Why you need to keep everything in, in one uh, folder? Easy for you to find uh, the location of the template. Yeah. All right. You Tick, click on this one, all right? When you click on the template, you will see the appearance of file name at the bottom here, and you click open, all right? You have to check this box. You have to check this box. You click OK. Click OK. OK, see, you, you check here. One, two, three. Can you see? Can you see the style that we want on this side? So this will help you to format your current document. Before this, you don't have the style. Now you have the style. 
Uh, again, you should know which style for which part. Okay, look, I want to repeat again. Yeah, I had to type chapter. This one is my chapter one. Yeah, Chap chapter one. All right, my chapter one will use chapter X CPM, and my introduction will use uh, one heading one, and my research background will use uh, heading two. Yeah. Uh, this is my first paragraph. I want to use this one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now I scroll down again and again. Okay. This is my thesis. I am the master of this document. I am the owner of this document. So I know which part will get which number. So this one is going to be my 1.2 so that I have to click on heading two. Are you clear with this? Okay, if you clear for number one. If you have a question, put number two and ask your question. I I I give some time for you to uh, recall uh, the, the method. Okay. Okay. Do you think that this method is easy for you? At the beginning, I think maybe you need to learn how to do this, how to do that, right? Upon after you manage the setting, you understand you must have the style on this side. I think your 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 your, your formatting is easy. Okay, please uh, show again. All right, good. Okay, I okay. How how to how can I I I diminish the structure, okay, or I manage the, I, I remove the format. What I need to do is control A. I, I, I control A, I select the document, everything. Okay, I want to repeat, yeah, I want to repeat. Okay, control A. I go to home. Remember, I show you this button. What is the use of this button? Is to remove the format or to clear the format, yeah? Okay, erase the format, correct. Okay, correct. I want to repeat again. So this is the one that you should do if you want to start fresh, all right? You have the document, you already have the style. Okay, you don't know which part which for which. So the best is for you to uh, remove the style is by using this button, click clear all formatting. Now the format is gone. Okay, the format is gone, right? Now you have to type manually chapter one. You have to click on chapter X UPM. You get the style and put your cursor on the introduction. And wait, you see here that the word one introduction will appear on this side. One, two, three. You have to use this style. Click. Can you see? One introduction and research background you need to click on heading two. Okay. This one is my paragraph. I need to click on UPM para one, right? Uh, the next one is exploratory data analysis. I need to click on heading two. Automatically, I get 1.2, right? If I scroll down, okay. See, I have multivariate regression. I need to click on heading two. So my variable selection will be from the point of view. I want to make it a uh, new items. Okay, one point four. Okay, so environmental studies. Maybe I want to make it one point five. Okay, I scroll down again and again. I have my second title of my thesis okay are you clear okay so for those who are still not clear you you can ask me now if you don't i want to proceed with the next stage how to format the next chapter chapter two okay clear Okay, good. So how to format your chapter two? The best is to type the title of your chapter two 
in capital letters yeah so if you already done something like this you have to select and you can use this button to make it uppercase right you need to type chapter chapter chap chapter two right uh, i suggest you to create a break for this i suggest you to use section break next page okay you type the word chapter which is a review this one is going to be your 2.1 isn't it so you have to create one item what we call section break next page okay so you have to go to layout and click on this one yeah if you click you will see this item section break so chapter two will appear on the next page okay now what is the difference between if i want to use formatting nine formatting nine you don't have to go to layout it is there the button is there for you okay the button is there for you click on this item so you will get section break next page right so for the chapter two you need to click on this one click already now the best is that everyone will get the same setting okay not only you get it but every one of you if you share if you use my template everyone will get the same setting so that for me the best for this template is developed by your university they must officially create and upload the style that they wanted so don't have you so that you don't have to uh, create the style on your own but i think before that the best is you understand what is style and uh, how to create the style you understand uh, good uh, name mama cool you understand okay now look for the review for the review i click on heading two uh, sorry heading one i will get two literature review you, you you check here you check here right you check here i i make the number two in the front of l is hidden yeah uh, but you can see the number two is appear on your navigation pane. Yeah. Look, I, 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 I want to show you this one. Yeah, I want to show you this one. Um. Uh. Yeah, this one. Uh. Wait. Huh? This one. Even even you don't see the number two in the front of L, but you can see the number two here. Can you see it? Put number one if you can see it. Oops, sorry. Put number one if you can see the number. Okay. Okay. So this number two in the front of L is actually there, but you cannot see it because we, we set it to make it disappear. Okay. But upon after you 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 put your cursor on introduction, you hit on hitting two, you will get uh two point one. Look. Okay, I, I will show you. Look, okay, I put my cursor here on traction. I hit on heading 2, I will get 2.1. Is 2.1 appear? Zuki is there. See, the one Zuki is there for you. You can contact him as well. And uh, it is his YouTube. Okay, okay. So now the process of formatting is like this. Okay, generally, you have to understand which one is for which part okay to understand this you have to go to uh, the this is template double click on it uh, type it uh, give name okay check one by one which one is for which part which one is for which part all right so uh, now uh, i want to show you how to format individual chapter by chapter by chapter all right again uh, i have to go to chapter one i double click on chapter one I double click on chapter one. Okay, I double click on chapter one. I uh, I clear clear my drawing. Okay, look, I can you see my chapter one? I open new document. Um, wait, uh. Okay, all right. I open my document chapter one. All right, for chapter one, uh, what you need to do is open your style pane, uh, open your navigation pane. Uh, the style for UPM is not there. 
you go to attach, uh, attach, you know, find the template that you want to use. It is on this folder, right? Click on this one, click open, see? And automatically update document style. Don't forget to do this and then click OK. Now the style is there, okay? You have to type chapter one. Chapter one, you have to click on this one and this one for heading one. How about this one? Okay, you don't need to type the number, this number manually, you have to delete this one. All right, you have to click on heading two. Okay, the same, uh, the same idea, the same idea for the rest of the method. Uh, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5. And how to combine it into one, I will uh, I already provide you on my YouTube and Dr. Wanzuki YouTube. Right? Okay. If you want to know further, I think you can uh, attend my workshop after this. But this is the fundamental. Okay. This is the fundamental where you can uh, get the, the idea on how to use the style from the template. All right. Now, uh, uh, we provide you the link uh, if you want to buy this tab. Actually, there are many more items here that I'm not able to uh, complete uh, in, in within two hours. Uh, I just give you the fundamental. The rest you can study on your own. On your own. And I have the guideline uh, by using the UPM, uh, sorry, UITM template on uh, my, my Dropbox link. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Wazuki. Okay. Now, um, okay, now uh I I I can uh I can stop now, I think. Okay. Now what what I I, I need to explain to you, all right? So I think UPM still don't have this template together with the style. Yeah. So what you need to do now is to ask them to provide it for you. Okay. Uh, to ask them uh, on your info. Okay, you you can follow my my telegram. My, you you can you can follow my telegram. So from my telegram and from my Facebook, uh, I will uh, give information uh, about my workshop. Most of my workshop is free. Yeah, don't worry about this. Okay. So now, uh, what I can uh, suggest you again. Um, even, even for some people, creating the style is easy, but to make sure everyone will have the same style is difficult. Yeah, difficult. So that you, uh, I suggest you to go to your university, uh, any university here, okay? Uh, maybe UPM, maybe uh, your, your, your university in, 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 in your country, in India, maybe in Zimbabwe, you know? Um, you you okay you you can uh, you can um, ask them to invite me to create a template for your university and free and I can give a training for your university for your student free as well you understand but you need to understand the 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 idea the idea must be the same okay so that everyone can share the same uh, momentum, right? Okay, any, any more question? Uh, the, you, you can join Kazi, you can join my, my Telegram. I will provide the link for everything on, on the, my Telegram as well. Okay, uh, right, uh, I, I have the link for the material. You can, you can use this Dropbox link as well. Uh, all of the link is there on, on this uh, material, yeah. Uh, all right. So far, uh, any question that you like to say, that, you, that, that you like to uh, uh, clarification? Uh, welcome, welcome, uh, Nor Borhan, welcome, uh, Atika. Yeah, thank you very much for attending this, yeah. Uh, thank you, Hanisa, yeah. Okay, thank you, Eddie, all right. Uh, please, so that my ministry will contact you. Okay, handphone, please. Okay, I, I give you my handphone number. Uh, 019 uh, plus six, yeah? 6019. 6019. 
0196931393 okay or you can uh, you can contact me through um uh, through email yeah through email with uh with, with uh my email is um uh, m o h t z uh okay wait 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 uh, my email is um, where is my email okay the question is where is my email uh okay uh wait all right good 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 uh all right you can you can ask me uh, any question after this on my um uh just want to confirm yeah, yeah. uh you have to check you have to check the, the current uh i'm not sure but you have to check uh aja you have to check on your this guideline okay and you can adjust uh, based on the style that i provide you i think the style that i provide you already uh give that uh, uh instruction already give the the setting uh this is my email address please contact me if you want your university to to communicate uh, uh, further with a uh, deck. <laughs> okay, this is my email. Oops. Uh, thank you, uh, Pananiza. Okay, that is my my email address. If you want to contact me, all right. Uh, so that your university can can have the the template and your university is uh, uh, having the, the their own template and easy for your student to 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 produce the the thesis based on the guideline okay ah Jay Ismail uh, how are you ah okay good good um we we are going to provide a free workshop as well from uh, UITM uh, Blacker uh, Library uh, uh, formatting a thesis in April, I think. Yeah, we are uh, in communication. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Encik Ismail. Yeah. Uh, Encik Ismail is uh, one of our team in uh, uh, UITM. He is now doing his uh, PhD in Istimlaya. Uh, Istimlaya still don't have the, the template. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, time's up. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, this uh, workshop. Socially organizer Ipsas uh, Panwani for, for allowing me to have uh, this uh, knowledge sharing so that we can uh, uh, help each other and uh, this knowledge uh, will be very helpful for graduate journey. Yeah. Uh, kalau ada pertanyaan, boleh boleh, no problem. Okay, thank you.